Ignition sequence start. Five, four, three, two, one. 's and welcome to let's play lifeless planet I've actually played the demo version of this game before oh, it's killing me. and it feels like I have a concussion where's my crew and uh, the game was absolutely amazing I actually couldn't wait for this to come out if you haven't tried this before if you haven't heard about it it's basically a very kind of a mysterious uh, puzzle adventure game. Uh, with this sort of a gameplay where you're basically uh, an astronaut, you crashed on the planet, and uh, you find out some crazy things about it. Crap. I'm gonna... An oxygen leak. Oh, Wraith, I need to find some oxygen. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, even though I, have, I know what's going to happen, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm uh, having place to do this, and this is all new to me. So I have to find my oxygen tank that's right there blinking at me. Uh, I believe I just have to... yeah. Okay. This planet has a bit less gravity than Earth, so you can actually jump a little bit higher. And um, I believe I came here... I didn't actually um, know that I came here to find someone, or, and or possibly because I have a wife at home. Uh, because that's what the picture was during the intro. I'm gonna try to read some of these um, status logs as well. Oxygen supply vehicle. Uh, these supply vehicles will be sent to planet 3 days in advance. No, 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 no. Not important. Not important at all. No right. I got some oxygen. Cool. Get some oxygen. Let's get out of here. All right. I'm gonna follow the tracks. Um, I'm gonna try to. Ooh. I'm gonna try to play through this in one sitting, if possible. And if not, then uh, okay. Then it may take me one more than one sitting. Even at twice the speed of light, your journey will take 15 years. That was the most clever thing I've said so far. That's right. Not. We'll be traveling so fast, our spacecraft will arrive at the planet before the transmission of this interview does. But it's still Ooh. such a long trip. We'll be put into a sort of coma. Our heart rate will be slowed dramatically to minimize aging during the flight. How do you right. prepare for this one-way mission, knowing you will never return to Earth? Well, I have a volunteer crew of very skilled and focused individuals. We all have a deep desire to explore, to go somewhere new. Frankly, we also have few attachments here on Earth. All right, so come to me, uh, start making f smart commentary, and or shut up whatsoever, and not talk. All right, so I think I believe I have to double jump here. Yeah, there we go. Like a pro. Um, I do get even more than one jump eventually that will actually help me solve some of the more difficult puzzles. There's a lot of jumping puzzles in this game and some of them are actually really hard. Uh, I remember it took me like hours to solve one of them. Oh crap. I didn't rem don't remember that happening but okay. Oh there we go. Wait what? That's new I think. I don't think I went here before. That's okay. So yeah I find myself on this planet I think uh, we came here to explore and or get some kind of an energy source. At least my jetpack works. Everything about this mission is a disaster. Uh, the lander looks like a beating. Uh, the lander took a beating, and with it, uh, most of the equipment. My suit, uh, my suit is functional, but barely. The jetpack can still put on a single burst, which is useful for short jumps. I find I get the most distance when I trigger the burst at the top of my jumps. My head is foggy, the sound of my breath puffing in my helmet is hollow and distant. It's hard to tell how long I've been here unconscious, and I'm worried that I might have a concussion. I wish I could lay back down and rest, see if I uh, see if the pain passes, but the situation is far too critical. To call that a hard landing would be kind. We crashed. Maybe the egghead's miscalculated tra trajectory, or maybe we just hit a spell of bad luck. 
Whatever the case may be, this is not the paradise they described to us back home. There's no ash greenery, there's no sign of life at all. And where's my crew? I hope they're just securing, just securing the perimeter. And that I was only out for a few minutes. I need to find them, get their status, and figure out just what in the heck happened. Crap. And I need to do it before I run out of air. So, that pretty much summarizes the storyline in this game. Our ship crashed. And we are stuck on this planet now that's not as good as it was described to us come on uh why is it so much harder than i remember all right let's try this again one two there we go three there we go and four and five i may have to cut out some of these attempts if i'm um spending too much time on them Rapper. Like right now, maybe. I have a US flag on my jetpack. I guess I'm an American. American. I'm from America. But why is it doing that? Oh, yeah, I, I can't control my jumps apparently. Oh, I wish I could play with a game hat. But I don't think I can. Okay. Um. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay, that one, is that the one I fell from? I think so. Oh, I found another log. Let's read it. Why are there no signs of life on this planet? I was following a trackway left behind my crew, but I got separated from their trail. Hopefully I can make my way around. In the meantime, I still can't understand why this planet is barren and lifeless. Our remote observations were conclusive. This planet was rich with life. So where did it go? Maybe we just dropped in the wrong spot, but initial readings aren't coming up with any trace of biological activity. Everything about this mission is a disaster so far. The lander took a B and with it more... Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. That's a new entry. I only have to read the new entry, not all of the entries. Alright. Now, this puzzle, I remember that one, I think, took me really lots of time to jump through oh maybe that's not it never mind that one is just the thing you have to drop from that thingy over there right yeah wait what oh okay i have to go through here yeah there we go uh and now i'm going over here oh, 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 oh. oh there we go okay Almost had it. I mean, I almost fell off. So now I have to use the rock and put it against that wall over there. Come on, rock. Come on. You're not... You're not cooperating, rock. Rock. Don't be an asshole. I need to get up there somehow. Yeah, like that. How about like that? Yeah, yeah, there we go. A oh, right there. And what's going on now? I just jump down? I guess so. What is this? Is that nothing? That's nothing. Oh yeah, that's the waterfall. I remember the waterfall. Okay then. Okay then. Whoa, what was that? What is that? What is that? Wait a second. That's life right there. Isn't it? Are those frogs? I don't remember frogs. Why is there frogs here? I'm gonna chase the frogs. Come back. Whoa, where'd you go? Am I hallucinating? I think I'm just hallucinating. Why are there frogs on this planet? That makes no sense. Yeah, right. I think I have to go up there. Don't think I have to come down here at all. How do I jump up? Oh, I think it's through. I have to walk around again. No. Hey, no. So I guess people who were calculating our trajectory miscalculated. Kind of reminds me of that mission to Mars from I think it was like in 98 or 99 when uh, um, it was two teams working together and one team was using the metric system 
and one system, one uh, team was using the ro um, what is that called? The royal system? Uh, no, imper empirical system. That's it. Uh, and they basically did not realize they were combining numbers using two different systems. So one was calculating feet, and one was calculating meters. And then basically the probe that they were trying to launch crashed into the planet. It was a mission failure and a shame on NASA. And I think it was also European um, Space Agency too. Oh, what's that? What is that? No, seriously, what is that? That's freaking me out. Oh, it's bad. Yeah, okay, I'm hallucinating. Oh, whoa, what? Hey, wait, no, 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 what? Hey, no, 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 no. It's a big no. It tried to walk my world, but it didn't work. Oh, I found a book. And it's in Russian. Alright. Found a book by Tolstoy. Uh, 